let me introduce you to this wonderful potion machine that I made. Yeah. I, I was just watching uh, the... It's, well, it's heavily inspired by uh, the Ethos Lab episode, by Ethos Lab. Uh, I was just watching him make his much more probably efficient uh, machine, and I felt inspired to make my own. So this is this is the machine. You flip levers for the type of potions you want. So for the demonstration, I'll make uh, extended. So it's fire resistance. I want it to be extended, and I want it to be splash. So then I just have to hit this button, and the stuff will start burning. It'll take about a minute. So. Uh, I will go and de uh, just show you what's around the back, the wiring and whatnot. Uh, the it's a bit of a mess, to be honest. I'm not that good at redstone. I'll try and explain what everything does. So, for each lever, it activates a piston to push up, which just lets the signal run through. Uh, maybe I should stop from the beginning. So when the make button is pressed, which you can't see. This really is a mess. I never realised that. Uh, so you press it, you press the button. Uh, it sends a pulse to certain places. Uh, I can't remember where. Where the hell is the button? <laughs> this is a good demonstration. Right there. Right. So the pulse will run up to here, and if there's if the block has been pushed up by the lever, the pulse will run through into dis uh, dispensers which have all of the different materials needed for brewing certain potions uh, and make it dispense it into... I've got a water stream underneath here along ice so the blocks are pushed very quickly through here and into here where the brewing stand is uh, it's, it's all the stuff is collected into this item hopper and then just dispensed down into here uh, the way I've got it set out, uh, it will always. Oops. The uh, items will always arrive in the right order just because of the distance between them. So the redstone and stuff enters the water stream at the back, so it won't ever get in before the more important components like the magma cream and stuff. So it won't make the wrong sort of potion. Although I don't think that actually matters. Uh, I've got a dispenser for nether warp there which so it's always in first the stuff is this so once the stuff enters the uh, item hopper it will be in queued to brew uh, oh. around there I've got a uh, a chest full of water bottles which are pulled in when they need to be that that water's there just so I can fill it up. I need to make a better way. Uh, I think the potion is finished by now, but I'll just keep going through the redstone. Uh, this is a hopper clock. It's, it's very useful. It's set so it will take. Um, um, how long? Uh, it's about a minute, uh, which is the uh, the length it would take to brew the longest potion to brew time. Does make sense, but. Whatever, uh, which is this is connected to an RS null latch. I think the yeah the make button is will trigger this, which will trigger the timer, and then when this is triggered off, it allows the, uh, the hoppers to work. So things will be pulled out of this, and uh, water will be put into that, or well bottles, whatever's in there. Which will be water bottles here, and then the when the stuff is pulled out, it will put into this chest. So those are the potions we just brewed. Uh, I kind of just made it for convenience. It's, it's it's kind of a waste, but it's quite fun. It does require because of the ice, it requires a silk touch pick, but it's pretty simple. You could probably just put dispensers at the top. I was I quite tried for space because above is ocean and just that way is ocean so and this definitely isn't the best. Um what I'd like to know is whether I could make a timer around it 
not much bigger because I don't have much more space that could uh, be toggled, well not toggled, but programmed in with the amount of processing that it's got to do. So then I don't have to wait the maximum amount of time, say if I just wanted a instant health potion, which would take uh, 40 seconds to make just a regular one. Which would be useful to know. But anyway, that's the basic machine. I think, yeah, that's it.